Hello. I got so excited in creating videos this morning that I forgot to introduce myself. Well, first of all, why should you be listening to me? As far as you know, as far as I know, I don't have ADHD myself. Although I think I probably do have a touch of OCD, which means obsessive compulsive behavior. It doesn't quite meet the clinical criteria for true OCD, which can be quite debilitating. So I don't want to certainly make light of this condition. But if you ever see my desk at work and at home, you probably notice that all the objects are lined up perfectly in 90 degree angles. And in fact, you can probably see from my background that uh, I have to sit everything straight and uh, even the chest belt on the table is perfectly lined up. And here's my dog. I woke her up at 2 a.m. this morning too when I started recording videos. Anyway, so more about myself. I was not born in this country. I was born in Taiwan, which is a small island country off the coast of China is the only part of China that's not communist. I don't want to get into the political background for uh, Chinese history and Taiwan, but I was there and I grew up in democracy and I was fortunate enough to immigrate with my family to the United States in 1985. I was 13 years old back then, and it was certainly a culture shock because not only is it a different continent, but I didn't understand the culture. I didn't speak any English at all. I knew all my alphabets. That was all. So I struggled for the first two years just learning English, but I didn't know much then, so it didn't scare me as much. And by the time I got into high school, I was in a mainstream class instead of uh, English learner class. And I did quite well in high school to get into UCLA for my undergrad studies. I studied biology and I did very well academically. I got straight A's throughout my four years of uh, at college. And I applied to medical school and I got into UC Irvine. I also graduated top of my class from my medical school. And I did my pediatric residency training at back at UCLA. As you can see, I have a special fondness for UCLA. And I am a true Bruin at heart. And I joined a private practice after I finished my residency training. I did not find that very satisfying because the practice was very business driven and a lot of medical decisions were made based on financial uh, reasons. And I, I just find it troublesome for that to be the case. To me, money should not dictate uh, patient care. So I, switched to uh, working at Kaiser Permanente after that. And this is where I've been working uh, for the last, oh, about 15 years or so. And I do enjoy working at Kaiser Permanente because um, the care is patient driven and I get to make decision um, what I feel is the best thing for my patient. And I started out as a general pediatrician and about about 15 years ago um, or soon after I joined the, the practice became a partner I was offered the opportunity to specialize in helping children with ADHD and I was a little hesitant at first because I didn't really get any formal training on that but uh, I took it on just because I had some experience compared to my colleagues because I worked in private practice for two years. 
And that was really a life changing decision because I felt that was one of the best decisions I made. I feel closer to these families that I've been working with in the last 15 years. Going through the ups and downs of ADHD, I know intimate details about their families and I often share my own stories with them. And we've grown really close and it's always a bittersweet moment when they graduate from my practice because they turn 18. Anyway, so now you know my background and my motivation in helping people with ADHD. And I plan to do that for a long time. And the whole reason of creating this video series was that I was inspired by one of my son's friend who has ADHD and who is brave enough to share his own experience with the world uh, on his own YouTube channel. So I feel that um, I should share my unique insight um, after seeing patients for so long. Uh, this knowledge is beneficial to everyone. And even after I no longer see patients, I'm hoping that I can still help someone who can get through a tough day. All right. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.